you know, with the pandemic and education, we just didn't have time. We needed something that could serve our students and serve them now. And Starlink is that solution. And man, has it served us well. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. I don't know how to get the glare out of my glasses, so I'm sorry in advance. What's up, YouTube? Thank you so much for joining me for this video today. If you're new to my channel and you like Starlink, click that like button and hit subscribe. That way we can launch more videos, get it? And today we have a special guest. I'm so excited to introduce you to him, but First, let me just say, I love reading the comments. I really appreciate all of the new subscribers and comments from my last video about Starlink, the second video I made about Starlink, uh, the review 2.0. Some of the comments that you guys left were very creative. One of them, I was compared to Felicity from Star City. It's actually a show I'm not familiar with, but I mean, do you see the difference? Probably my favorite comment, just because it made me laugh a lot, was a uh, viewer saying that they could watch me read the phone book, so. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I, I don't think that that is gonna be what we're gonna do in this video. All right, let's get to the meat and potatoes, the whole point of this video. Of course, we like a little entertainment sprinkled in. Cha cha, real smooth. So today we're gonna to be talking to Scott Kaiser. I've never actually met Scott, but luckily we have Zoom to bring us all together. And we're gonna be talking about how Starlink is providing crucial internet access for families in Wise County, Virginia. Keep in mind, this is a very rural area where families just really have pitiful access to internet. And in times of COVID, obviously a lot of school districts across the country have had to shift almost overnight to uh, providing some sort of virtual learning. Having this free Starlink internet for these families and students is huge. And I really just wanted to talk to some people that are a part of this, that are benefiting from this greatly. Like I, I mentioned in my last video, you know, I live in a residential area. I'm a fan of Starlink. I got the unit. I wanted to be part of the beta test, but I'm not one of the, you know, people that are truly, this is changing their life. However, I want to point out these examples because I know that this technology will change the world for, for much better. So let's get into talking to Scott. How are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Trying to turn my volume up here a little bit. I love your accent. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Uh, we get that quite a bit down here. I've been doing some videos about Starlink, saw a tweet, and then that, you know, kind of led me to you. So uh, tell me what Starlink is doing for families in your area. Even before the pandemic, we realized that we had an issue in our area of connectivity to our students' homes. But then, of course, when the pandemic struck, it just magnified that issue for us a lot. And we are in a very mountainous terrain here in Wise County, you know, and we're very rural. So, um, you know, that combination meant that it was going to be hard to overcome in a lot of those circumstances uh, to reach those students with internet access, especially with uh, broadband type internet speeds. So, and that's very needed for online learning. And so we did like every other school division across the country that's faced the same issues. You know, we've looked at every possible solution to overcome that. And then, the clerk of the circuit court here in Wise County, Jack Kennedy, he is a space enthusiast and he's brought many NASA based or space based programs, you know, to our county. And he approached me, uh, you know, with the idea of approaching SpaceX about leveraging their Starlink beta to serve our students. So obviously I was very excited about that. And that quickly escalated to a meeting between Mr. Kennedy, myself, the superintendent of schools, as well as the county administrator. And we all came to the table and agreed that it was uh, worth pursuing to see what happened. And then uh, very rapidly that turned into a possibility for us. And so we moved forward and ultimately uh, as of February the 1st, we began serving 45 homes in the county with broadband speed internet access that otherwise wouldn't have had that opportunity. And are most of those students learning from home in those 45 or some sort of hybrid? What's what's that looking like? Since September and here in Wise County, we've been back to in-person instruction four days a week for those students who were comfortable 
coming to receive that instruction. However, we've had virtual learners the entire time. And on Fridays, all students are virtual. So, you know, it is kind of a hybrid for some of those students, but for some, they were learning from home on a full-time basis uh, or trying to with no connectivity. Um, you know, one student told me a story about how each day he traveled 12 miles to the local fire hall where he is a junior firefighter to utilize their uh, internet access there because he just didn't have it at home and, uh, you know, had no option of getting it at home. So he made that trip, you know, on the days that he decided he was going to participate in virtual learning. You know, he would go to the fire hall and do that. And then we immediately, you know, once we hooked up the Starlink, he immediately got his phone out and was surprised at how quickly he could get on YouTube and have videos streaming, you know, because the speed has been incredible for us. Yeah, I was going to say since its implementation on February 1st, so a little over a month now, how has it been? It's been it's been wonderful. And, you know, we uh, knew that up front it was called the better than nothing beta. And so even before, you know, the school division, when we were reaching out to these families, we were kind of alerting them to the fact that this is the better than nothing beta. It's meant to serve those that, you know, have no access any other way that they could expect, you know, some issues along the way or some, you know, uh, latency issues or right. lose connectivity because it's a, you know, even though it's a low orbit satellite based system, you know, they're still launching satellites to overcome some of these issues. But the reality has been that they drop their signal, you know, very rarely. And when they do, it's instantaneous reconnection. Um, speeds have been anywhere from 60 megabits per second download speed to 140 megabits per second download speed. And, um, you know, a lot of our folks had tried other solutions um, to no avail. And one particular home that we hooked up the uh, Starlink system in, they had tried to leverage their cellular service with, uh, other equipment to boost that signal and things. And so we did a test there and they went from eight megabits per second download speed on a clear sunny day to 88 megabits per second download speed, just, you know, in the matter of us hooking up the system. So wow. it's been a game changer for us in regards to virtual learning. For those folks that are in these circumstances where we installed these, you know, some had tried traditional satellite internet as well as other means. And, you know, they would tell me that it would take them six to 12 hours to download a document. And then they went to streaming 4K video, you know, pretty much immediately. So it's, you know, there's no comparison. And like you said, it's only going to get better. Right. Uh, so we're, we're excited to see how much better it could even get. So I've had others think that we got this, you know, at no charge, but we did have to buy into the beta project. So, you know, we did pay the equipment fee as well as the service, uh, you know, for 12 months for these families. So um, the families have no cost to them. But between the county government here in Wise County, our board of supervisors agreed to pay for the equipment and Wise County schools had gotten a grant that pays for the service. So what does it mean, though, to have for the on the family side this access for free? I mean, that's got to be really helpful during COVID. Correct. Because, you know, these families, unfortunately, were the ones who, even though we were providing other solutions, you know, for families that had availability of cellular service, you know, we could give mobile hotspots and things, but these families, um, you know, weren't able to take advantage of even that solution that we had. So to have any solution, I was even asked if I was Santa Claus because I was calling just before Christmas, you know, our, you know, to ask about their willingness to participate, you know, in this program. And uh, obviously they were nothing but excited, but yeah, I was asking, how did I make this happen? You know, was I Santa Claus? Just all those questions simply because, these are homes, you know, they had desired to have this. I mean, you know, many of them had longed to have this. Many of them had, you know, put money into other solutions that just, you know, didn't serve them well. And so, you know, they, some of them were aware of this project and had even signed up, you know, to be part of the beta, but it hadn't happened for them yet. And now for us to come along and say, you know, we have this opportunity you know, to get you connected, you know, it, it was uh, very delightful for them. And, and like I said, uh, you know, I can't, say that I'm Santa Claus or anything, but we were very happy to be able to bring them this opportunity. We only hope to have more units available, you know, and to be able to put more of the, this equipment into Wise County because we still have many homes here that we could serve, you know, utilizing this solution in our underserved areas. But we're also hoping that it grows beyond Wise County schools and, you know, goes out to our surrounding school divisions because there's 
you know, students not only across the state of Virginia, but across the country and even in the world that, you know, this could be their only option for broadband speed Internet in the you know foreseeable future because you know laying that kind of fiber and broadband you know infrastructure takes money but it also takes a lot of time and you know with the pandemic and education we just didn't have time we needed something that could serve our students and serve them now and starlink is that solution and man has it served us well oh i love it that is so cool and i was reading an article saying like something like 40 or 60 percent of you know families didn't really have hardly any access. Yes. And we had done some surveys prior to the school year starting, uh, you know, to kind of get a feel for how many of our folks truly didn't have internet access. But what we learned is that having internet access versus having adequate internet access for online learning are two different conversations. So, you know, we thought we were dealing with a 25 to 30 percent range. However, it turned out to be about 40 percent of our students were uh, you know, in situations where they had, maybe they had internet, but it wasn't adequate for online learning because, you know, to stream online classes and things of that nature takes a, a lot of connectivity. And some of those that answered the question, yes, we do have internet access, they'd answered that based on a personal hotspot or something of that effect. And what they learned very quickly is that even though you have unlimited uh, data plan, you know, with a carrier, that doesn't mean that you're going to get full speed for the whole month on that unlimited data plan that after they hit 10 gig of use, then they started seeing the speed of their connection throttled, which ultimately led to them not being able to connect to their online classes. And so we saw that number go up significantly. And like I said, you know, it's more so around, was around 40%, but thankfully between the grants and the funding we've gotten between, you know, mobile hotspots and Starlink and different solutions, we've been able to cut that drastically. You know, we needed something that would serve our students now. And, you know, I'm thankful for Mr. Kennedy who brought it to, you know, to my attention. I'm thankful that we had the grant and that the county's board of supervisors jumped in to uh, help us with the equipment costs so that we could fund the service. And ultimately, I, you know, I, I can't stop without also mentioning that my computer technicians here in Wise County Schools you know, we have, we're serving a lot of parents or grandparents, you know, who have custody of, of their grandchildren and things. And they, some of them didn't have the means by which to install this. And, um, you know, my team went out and in, actually did the installs for them, even though it's a self-install kit. So, you know, it was a total team effort here in Wise County from our board of supervisors to the school board, you know, the superintendent got on board and then, you know, down to my computer technicians and, you know, to be able to make this happen for our students, it's, it's, it's exciting for us. And we love talking about it. If you guys like this video, if you like Starlink, if you like getting current updates about Starlink, hit subscribe. And of course, if you like Dishy McFlatface, I love that name. Do you guys love that name? Comment below if you're a fan of that name. Kind of reminds me of McLovin. Wait, you changed your name to McLovin? Well, I am open to different ideas from you, my viewers. I really appreciate your support. So if you have an idea for a video that you would like me to do, comment below and I will hopefully be able to do it for you. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.